All right, hello, I'm Taylor Morgan. Um, this is gonna be a video of me showing how I make beats for Black Cray. Uh, I'm just gonna do, it's gonna be an uncut video, hopefully about 20 minutes long. Start to finish beat um, of me making like a sad plug type beat for Cray. Um, and, I, and I'll send this beat to him. So uh, I have no clue what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna wing it, but you know, here we go. Um, I'm just gonna start off with the E piano. This is how I start most of these beats. I'm at 140 BPM, and I'm just gonna click in a melody. Um, the most important part of this is getting the chords right. And um, so I'm gonna just do that and click in a melody. I'm trying to make something kind of sad sounding, but also just mostly just big chords, very catchy, pretty melody. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna duplicate the bass notes. Push down an octave. Make it sound a little bit more full. I'm gonna turn it up. Bring the velocity down a little bit, make it softer. I'm also gonna change the key. I'm gonna bring it down to F. All right, so that sounds really cool. Um, now I'm gonna layer it with a pad from Purity. I use this one a lot. It's called, it's in the slow sense, it's called Nymph. And I'm just gonna copy paste the melody and pitch it up an octave. And I think I'm gonna delete this top part. Just have this. Also, I'm going to use in Xenology. I have a preset that I have saved, but it's just the slow strings preset. It's in the ensemble strings section. And I'm just going to throw in a little, um, you know, string melody. So for this, I'm just doing harmony with the chords. So we'll do something maybe like this. Pitch down like as well and layer that. I'm going to pitch this whole down. some like less typical sounds that's that's a big key for these beats is you got to find some sounds that not everybody's using um that's what makes i feel like that's what makes some of the stuff that i do with him stand out so i'm going to go through some synths and i'm going to use some presets from shinju's banks so you should buy his kits they're amazing and they, I like to just find like little synths and just, you know, make little melodies that are in the background, so. And so I just do this, that's honestly a really cool melody. Oh, 
also like to use Hive. I use Hive and Infrared Bikray, so I'm gonna mess around with that. Try and find a pad in the stock. string. different notes maybe I do I like to find some note that's like playing all the time so then this one like G sharp hits a lot uh, it's like it's like literally non-stop in the whole beat G sharp is playing so I just like to do something like this like a little drone melody kind of thing and pretty much done melody wise let's add it to the mixer adding effects to stuff so all these there's tons of accent sounds you just got to make sure that you tuck them away but you don't you know tuck them away too much because you don't want to hide them you no point if, if you hide it too much there's no point in it being in the beat so I'm just gonna add some reverb some auto panning some EQ this I'm gonna boost a little highs take down some low mids with this I'm going to boost a lot of highs I'm also going to add tremolator which adds like a tremolo to it and bring it to one fourth and phaser to this maybe turn that down kind of cool you cut this part And 
this choir thing that added, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna pitch it down an octave. And turn it to like way down. All right, so now I'm ready to do drums. Every drum that I'm gonna use in this beat is gonna be from my drum kit, from the Taylor Morgan Ultimate Drum Kit. It's gonna be in the description. And for these drums, I just keep them, you know, not simple, but easy to wrap on. I just click in stuff as it sounds good. I mean, I make tons of beats, so that definitely helps with like the intuition of like what would be good here. But mostly it's just like feeling out the beat. It's like you don't want it to be too busy, but you want it to, you know, show that you know how to make beats and do your, you know, be creative and stuff. But people, people always say like, you know, be simple and all that stuff. And it's like, it's good to be simple, but you also got to be creative and have fun. So make sure whenever you have your 808, make sure you have it on cut itself. And then also I always turn the envelope to where it's like this. So it stops whenever the note stops. Like so.
and also in a lot of my beats I do like the really fast like one step hi-hat thing the way I do that is I do a two step and I hit alt R you won't be able to see this but you just turn the panning make the panning kind of crazy make the velocity change a little bit and then I just spam it I do it like three times and then I copy paste it in here and then I just do it again make it the velocities quieter I did it a little too much let me but yeah and so I, and then and then I pitch it up a little bit and I use the quartz hi-hat from my drum kit that's how I do that background hi-hat thing I love it. So now this part, I'm just going to level all the drums. I was already leveling the drums, so I just make sure everything sounds good. When I use 2808s, I make sure that the, they're both hitting at the same peak. Sometimes I add a little bit high in some of the drums just to make them cut through. The snares, I'll pan them all each a little bit away from each other. And now the spin sounds good, so I'll bring the other way in. Yep. And then I'll go into the melodies. Just double check everything. And so I have the way I have my FLP set up is I have all these melodies route to mixer track 10. And in mixer track 10, I have a uh, these EQs. This one just cuts out a little bit of low end, um, and I can use that one. But this one just cuts out all the lows so i just do that and then also on the master i have a soft clipper these are the settings you can copy it um and honestly now the beat's done so this is everything together for all the melodies and then with the drums oh, hold on there it is well, they don't waste no So we'll do a really quick um, arrangement. This is how I arrange all my beats. I arrange everything um, melody first. So I'm gonna think of the melodies. So all these all these melodies, I have one that comes in every other eight bars. So I think of this as like, this is the main section, and then this is the second section. And it's just these two are gonna go back and forth. So this little choir thing. thinking maybe like that's in here for this part and then maybe it goes away here um, the sign lead maybe there and then maybe it comes back in here maybe no choir until this part um, maybe strings every other maybe something like I just kind of do this and then just see how it works and then if it doesn't work then I change it um, pitch the sign lead down here maybe the suitcase thing goes away here and So I like that. So what we're going to do is now arrange the drums. So I have every mel every drum and I'm going to take out this little fast hi hat. I'm going to take out this snare, take out this open hat, and I'm going to cut out this. And so this will be the start. And then when it goes to this verse, it's going to be just this. And then maybe this comes in halfway through as well as this. And it, it, all this is just try. I'm just trial and error, or just I think that this in my head will sound cool. And then what we're gonna do is this will come in here, 
but for this last part it'll be the spins 808 and then I will cut at this clap and then see how this sounds like This too. Maybe this comes in. completely done so i appreciate everybody right, hanging out appreciate everybody hanging out watching me make this beat um hopefully you like this video i'm gonna try and do more video videos like this um so go check out you know all the songs that i've produced I'm ha i have an album dropping this month um so be you know excited for that um but yeah so thanks for watching this beat this is how i make beats for cray um Hopefully this was interesting. Hopefully you learned something. I'm very new to doing videos in this style. So if you have any, you know, pointers, things that you think that you sh I should expand more on or types of videos you want me to make, just let me know. But I'm going to try and shift this, vi this channel more to stuff for uh, producers and people who like watching the production side of things. Um, so, yeah. Um, but thanks for watching. The drum kit that I used to make all the drums in this video all right, it's going to be a link in the description. So if you want to buy the drums from this, you know, feel free. And uh, if you want to watch me make beats more often, I stream on Twitch. That link will be in the description. But yeah, um, let's just listen to this beat. And this is what we just made, you know, 23 minutes, not too bad. So uh, hopefully it wasn't boring. Hopefully it was interesting. And uh, yeah, I'll just play out the beat. In one mile.